All right. How you doing today, my man? I'm doing good. My name is Dusan. Dusan? From Waterford, Wisconsin. From Waterford? Waterford, Wisconsin. All right. You travel a little bit. You drove it here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've been, the Buick and I, we've been to Louisville, Kentucky, up to uh, back to the 50s. Oh, really? Yeah. We do uh, street rod nationals in Louisville. I think the last seven years. So you put them out there on the highway then, oh, huh? Yeah, yeah. I got you, my man. All right, so you said that's a pretty nice trip, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, I got you. We don't do the interstate. We do. Oh, y'all uh, take the 41. back one. Oh, y'all yeah, take the, 41. the back roads then, yeah. huh? So it take a little longer to get there, but there's nice scenery, just it's a better. A nice, easy ride. We can stop. You know, we have a, a restaurant in uh, Indiana that we stop at and have breakfast. Okay, okay. It's a lot a lot more relaxed ride. I got you. Wow, that sounds good, my man. How many hours do it take to do that that way? Uh, I think Louisville's like 12 hours. 12 hours? Yeah. Okay, so just make a day out of it and go, huh? Yep. I got you. We also do the Good Guys show in uh, uh, Iowa. Okay, when is that one now? That one was... Uh, Around the Fourth of July weekend. Ah, got you, got that's, you. That's another good, good, good show. show. Okay, yeah. sounds yeah. good, my man. All right, so but what, what do we got here? Well, we got a, a 1956 Chevy 210. 210. Two sedan. Oh, really? So what is the 210? What is that? Two, 210 is uh, one uh, trim level below the Bel Air. Okay. The okay. Bel Air was the top of the line, more chrome and in the interior exterior of the car. Right, right. So they was telling me you got a story. What's the story on this one? Oh, this one was a $3,000 car that I bought in De Pere, Wisconsin. When was that? Oh, that was probably early 90s, late 80s. Okay. And uh, sitting at the end of a farmer's driveway. And uh, it was originally a six-cylinder. Okay. And uh, we got the motor running. Drove it home, had to stop about every hundred miles <laughs> and uh, clean out the fuel filter. Really? Because there was a lot of crap Gallo in the gas Gallo tank. Right. So when it would start stumbling and close to the side of the road, take the fuel filter off, go through it backwards. And put a new one in. Okay. Blow some of the crap out, put it back on, and wow. go until it quit again. I got you. I got you. So what color was it when you got it? It was green. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The, uh, Pretty much a standard GM green. So what condition though? Uh, it was a fairly solid car. It needed a little bit of body work. It had been a Wisconsin car all its life. So okay. you know, it took somewhat of a beating. Okay. But I had a good friend of mine that was pretty proficient at body work. So we went over the car and you know bought whatever pieces we needed to get it in decent driving condition. I put a, a used Chevy 350 V8 in it okay. with the original three-speed tranny that we ran for a couple years. Then I put a four-speed in it. Oh, really? Uh, then things got out of hand, and I put a, a <laughs> little more robust Chevy 350 in it. Okay. And uh, then I, I had the original four-speed, and I thought, nah, I should maybe go to a five-speed. Really? Yeah, for highway driving. Yeah. You know. So we put the five-speed in it, and then I had trouble with that motor. And two years ago, I bought a uh, Blueprint freight motor. Oh, really? And uh, 383. 383. Uh, stroker, 350 what? Chevy. Wow. Punched out. So how did that Stroker work on the highway? Awesome. Oh, really? Five-speed. I can do 70 miles an hour, right around 1,800 RPM. Okay. So it, it'll normally do like 21 miles per gallon. Oh, really? On the highway. Wow. That ain't bad. That's better oh, than that's, some new cars. That's pretty reasonable driving. Right, right. Well, let me up under the hood. Let me look at this baby. Okay. 50, 50, 56? Yep. 56. Wow. So it got blueprint right on the valve covers, huh? So do this come from, is this from GM? No. Or what? No, this okay. is an independent company. Okay. They're, Blueprint uh, engines, okay. Wow. 
So who you get to do all your work? Um, you you're doing some of it? The or guys, what? the guys sitting over here and myself. Oh yeah. We put the motor in. Wow, that's pretty good. I have a club that everybody just uh, look out for one another. Then, huh? Yeah. Greg over there with the Buick. He's got a lift, and uh, Rusty also has a lift. So we did. Yeah. The engine swap and all that over at Rusty's. So what is this here? That's a uh, vacuum pump and a reserve canister for the uh, power brakes. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is nice, my man. This looks clean. Wow. So you had the firewall painted and everything, huh? Yep. Oh, man. That's and nice. And it's, it's got air conditioning. You put all air in here, windows. too? Really? I got you. Well, you mind coming around opening the door here for me? Sure. Look at that. I like those hubcaps, too. Wow. Those are some nice hubcaps on there. Look at that. Chevy hubcaps on there. Everybody thinks those are stock hubcaps. Wow. Look at that. They're not? Where are you no, get them they're from? A, they're a reproduction. Because they're a lot smaller. Wow. So oh, man, you don't get tired of shifting this baby? Oh God, no. <laughs> the headliner. So who did the headliner? You did uh, the upholstery shop okay. in uh, Kansasville. So wow. So you painted the white around uh, the trim and everything, huh? Yep. Electric uh, windows. Now you put them in, huh? The electric yep. windows. Yeah. Wow. That's all right, my man. So you even got electric back here. Oh yeah. How, how was you able to? How did you oh, find? You can, they have kits. They have kits for these. Oh yeah. Oh okay. I'm, I'm looking for power vent windows. Oh really? Nobody, nobody that I found yet makes a kit for a power vent window. You know what? I seen a guy last year that I filmed. He had a. Ah, oh, it was a station wagon. Um, I want to say it was a Pontiac station wagon, and he had it where he could move this one Just way or the other, the handle. And, yeah. and it would open, yeah, yeah, wow, that's nice, my man. So custom custom rear deck back here and everything, oh, yeah. huh? Wow. Yeah, it's got uh, stereo under the seat, Wow. and I have the MP3 player. Okay. For recorded tunes. Look at that. Yeah, this baby is solid, man. Then I've got the original. Uh, Look at this. this is the original so GM trunk light. I'm trying to remember where the switch is for that. I always, yeah, there it is. Okay. That light will come on. Look at that, my man. So now, something else about these the fuel fuel tank is. Look at that. Right there. Look at that. <laughs> That's nice, my man. Yeah, I always love these cars. You know, back in the day, I remember I was about 18. You used to see them for like $400, $400 in the labor paper. And uh, I was like 16. I said, when I turn 18, these cars, they just start going up yep. and up. And I kept saying, I'm going to find one for three, 400 Next thing I know, they was 2,000. Yeah. And they just. They just kept going kept, up. Kept going up, man. And I should have just went in and bit the bullet and brought one. Because between these and the 55s and the 57s were some of my favorite cars, you know. So, yeah. wow. Yeah, you really got a nice one there, my man. Thank you. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking out the time with me. Not a problem. All right. Thanks a lot. You bet. All right.